Hello everyone. So today let us uh, work on labels in Confluence. Yeah, it is a bit uh, random video, but I thought I'll probably show you because I was actually doing something with the labels in my Confluence uh, instance today. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm basically looking at uh, my uh, confluence page a roadmap basically and what I'm trying to do here is I'm basically using some labels and I'm basically adding some labels here to maybe categorize this particular page so labels is a nice way to uh, maybe add some tags tags to your pages and you, you can use labels later on for doing a lot of wonderful things so let us say you have a label for this particular page which is uh, a roadmap so I can definitely add something like a roadmap or a project plan or uh, usually labels need to have like no not usually labels need to have hyphen not really spaces in between just like jira but confluence here if you try to do it on confluence especially on cloud it will make it very easy for you so roadmap or uh, basically let us say uh, 2022 plan right so let us say we have these uh, few labels or five labels whatever now what you may want to do is you may want to maybe access the same labels using a REST API or maybe you want to add a new label, right? So it is possible. So if you go to um, this particular uh, documentation page where you can, of course, see the information about uh, different endpoints and what, what you can do with these endpoints. So today I'll do two things. I'll probably add a, I'll probably first fetch the existing labels and then I'll uh, maybe show you how we can add a label and the reason i'm making this video is because there was actually also a question on the community about uh, how to sync a confluence page content label with uh, my jira labels it is possible i never really did it but i guess you can do that for some i mean i'm sure there is a use case uh, but of course you need to first figure out how to fetch these labels and how to maybe add a new label now the endpoint for uh, Fetching the label is actually very simple. It is nothing but uh, your uh, Confluence URL or your site URL slash wiki, which is of course the Confluence URL. Then the endpoint is REST API content, then the content ID, and then of course you have to pass in the label here. And uh, I, I try to keep these scripts handy. So I, I always try to write uh, a shell script so that I can change the content ID or I can basically connect different things together. So if I run the same uh, script, using uh, uh, my my shell using curl basically it's a curl command not, not really a shell script it is a shell script but in this particular shell script we just have one single uh, command so the script name is get content labels if i press enter i can of course see the labels but it is not very nicely formatted so i will use jq to make it look slightly better let us run it one more time yeah so this is basically nice right we can we can see the prefix so basically the type of your label so you have three types of labels uh global my and teams uh mo in most cases you will probably be using global maybe in some cases my uh label but you you'll basically get the label here with the id and the actual label uh and the and basically the json format right which is great because i can see all the, the labels here and uh, i may want to add a new label and you can do that uh, basically what you need to do you need to use the same endpoint and then uh, use basically uh, the json so what you can do here is you can actually use it so basically you know when you are posting something you have to make sure that you're using post here uh, and uh, the request type and then uh, you can see here that the uh, endpoint is actually same rest api content content id label but here you can pass in the label name so prefix is global and this is of course my json it is not really really nicely formatted uh, json so this is the label name and i may want to add a, a demo label right so if i go back to my to my script i can run this add content labels okay something is wrong okay so it says uh, oh so i think uh, <laughs> there is some 
Okay, let us try this. Uh, usually for even for the for the JSON here, I use like a variable name so it is easier to manage. So if I run this now, hopefully I'll get the JSON back with the label, and I can actually see here. Hopefully, if I go to my to my uh, page, I should see a new label called demo demo label. I think that was the name. Yeah, this is perfect. And if we want to search it again, we can. So we have this demo label. So yeah, not difficult thing to do, but labels can be useful. And uh, I thought I'll probably show you and make a simple video. All right, that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.